Hey guys and welcome back to another Unreal Engine 4 tutorial. In today's video I'm going to be showing you how to change the master volume on a slider. So we've got our audio here, we can change it on a slider. I haven't got any audio enabled now just while I'm doing the intro, but I'll enable that in a second. So like I say we're doing the master volume and this method also works on all the different other types of volumes as well. So if you want sound effects, you want dialogue, you want music, anything along those lines, this same method works with that as well. You just change some different values which I'll show you later on. The reason I'm doing master volume is just because it gives you a nice brief overview of everything and then you can go down different paths to customize it and make it more specific for different types of audio that you'd like. And again that's very simple to do. So let me just enable some background music for the main menu and I also have it so that when I'm in the game I can press K to just play a sound as well. So let me hit play, we've got the main menu music here, what we're going to do is if we go to the options, audio, we can lower the master volume and we can increase it. This is by default, this is lower, this is higher. So I put it all the way down to the bottom, so we got no audio now, it's turned off. If I press start and I press K, we're gonna get no sound effect as that has changed. If we go back in, so we hit play again, change the audio to be a little bit lower, but still there, hit start and then press K, we're gonna get that sound effect. And then if I go all the way up, so options, audio, all the way to the max, hit start, now that is much louder. And again, you can go even quieter and even louder if you like. Well, you can't go quieter because it's the bottom, but you can go louder if you'd like. But this is what we're going to set up today. Again, so you can easily change the volume. In this example, mass volume, but I'll show you how to do it for everything else. And there are ways of also saving this volume as well. So you saw that every time I went in and had to redo it. However, I'm not going to go into that one today, but I think I might make a video in the future explaining how to do that and saving not just this, but all of your options. So without further ado, let me delete this code and I'll get right into it. So what we want to do first is we want to open up our widget in which we're going to be changing this. So I have one in a special one called audio widget, however you might want to just do it in your options widget, which is also fine, however I'm just doing a new one just to show you. So we can open that up straight away, compile and save that, and you'll notice that I already have sort of it set up already, so I've got the image, I've got the titles in here as well. If you want a more in-depth video on creating an options menu and a main menu in which I set up a lot of this stuff, I'll leave a link to that in the description down below. Again, so I've got main menu and I've got another video for options menu. What we want to do in here, so when you're in the menu you want, what we want to do is we want to drag in a slider from the top left palette up here. Under common, we've got slider. I'm going to drag and drop that in. I'm going to zoom in, line up to where I want. So I think that's good. I'll just drag it out to also get the size that I want it to be as well and then maybe make it a bit thicker as well by changing the bar thickness under style here. So I'll change it to five. What I'm also gonna do is change the anchor. So just drag it down so it's in the middle there, which means the slider will stay where we want on screen. What I'm also gonna do is change the values. So under appearance, we've got value. I'm gonna set the default value to be one, the minimum value to be zero, and the maximum value to be two. So we can go from zero to two, and by default it's one. So you can customize that to however you like. This is how I had it at the start. So if you want to go even louder, you can increase the maximum value. So maybe five if you'd like, anything like that, but just get it perfect for you. So I might put it up to five as well, just to show you how it can look like, but I will leave it as one by default, as one is the default value of audio in your game anyway. So that's most likely what you'll have been listening to when making the game. So I'm gonna compile and save that. And that's the first part of our slider setup. We've got it in, we've got the values we wanna mess about with, and now we just need to get the value that the player inputs into it and set that to be the volume in game. So we're gonna select this, scroll down, and we're gonna to get to the on value changed event down here. So hit the plus there, and we have on value changed for our slider. What we want to do out of this is drag out of the value, and we want to set sound mix class override like that. The execution in there, the value in volume. The in sound mix modifier, we're gonna set up in a second, the in sound class we want to be master because this is our master audio. Obviously you see by default we have master, music, normal attack, sound effects, all of these. So again, very easy to mess about with what you want to have specifically. I'm gonna leave the pitch as one by default and leave it as that. The fade in time I'm gonna to set to be zero. And this essentially means that when you change the value, it will take zero seconds to change to it. If you leave the fade as one, it will take one second to fade between what your value was to what you changed it to. So you might want to fade because it sounds quite nice as well, but I just want it to be immediate. As soon as the player changes the value, it changes in-game as well. 
And then after this, we want to push sound mix modifier, and that just simply applies it to be what we want as well. So we're setting it here, then we want to apply it here as well so that we are actually using it. The in sound mix modifier, again, we're gonna set up in a second, which is the same for set and push. So that's the code done there. That is literally all we need to do. Just on the value change, we're gonna get that value, set that to be our volume, and then apply it as well. So now let's do the other part of actually creating our sound mix modifier. So we can compile and save this. And if we minimize it, what I'm gonna do is just right click some empty space in our content browser, go to sounds, go to classes, and get a sound class mix there. And I'm just gonna name this one master sound mix class, like so, opening it up straight away. In here, all we wanna do is just hit the plus array element here under sound classes, open up the drop-down menu there, change the sound class to be master. So again, with this sound mix, we're editing the master sound class. I'm gonna leave all the other values by default as they are, because obviously we're gonna be changing these with that widget that we just set up. So we can save that, and that's all we need to do in there. And again, with this, we have the master, music, sound effect, normal attack, voice, all of that good stuff that you wanna change as well. And you can also create your own sound classes as well. So again, if you wanna do something different, not just master, what you can do is you can right click, go to sounds, classes, get a sound class, naming that whatever you want. And then if we also open up a sound effect, so I've got my 8-bit music loop here, you can see the class there is master, which is what we want. And by default, that's what it would be. Let's rename this new sound class I just made to be music. Open up my music sound effect here, and I can then change that to be music. So we did already have one like that, but you can see that's how easy it is. So you create one, and then you apply that after opening up the sound there, and then you can change this in here to be the music instead. So that's how easy it is to change to get it perfect for what you wanna do. And again, you just open up the sound effect and set the class like so. I'm gonna put it back to master as that's what I'm messing with and changing but that's how easy it is to change it for whatever you want to do. So again, if you want to do just sound effects or anything specific, not just the master, that's how you do it. So then once we've set that up, so we set up our master sound mix class here, we can close that, go back to the audio widget, on the set sound mix class override, we're going to put the in sound mix modifier to be our master sound mix class we just made, and then the push sound mix modifier, we can also set it to be that master. So again, we're getting the player's value, which they've inputted, setting that to be our volume and applying it as well. Then we compile, save, hit play, and this should work for us. So we've got the audio in our main menu here. I'm gonna to go to the audio options. I can increase it all the way up, which is very, very loud, that's five. I can put it all the way down as well. We go all the way up. And I'll just wait for that to load. I can then press that as well, which is also very loud. So I'm not gonna do that too much because I don't wanna to be too loud for you. However, this is what we've set up and it works perfectly. I just lower that so I can talk. I think that'll be it for this video. We've done everything we want to do. So we've set up this system in which we can change the master volume, increasing and decreasing it on this slider here, which works both in the main menu and in game. And it works for everything we want because it's the master. And I've also shown you how to go down different routes for specifics, for example, sound effects or music or anything along those lines. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thanks so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.